back repairing my dryer. Last time I had to fix it, it wouldn't uh, heat up and dry. The moisture sensor was broken on it. So I showed you how to repair that. This time, it won't stop drying. It's overheating. And I'm gonna show you what the problem is. Even when this had been sitting for days, you'd come over here and you'd touch the top of it, it was burning hot. <laughs> it was very hot. And when I looked into the view uh, hole down there, took that cap off and looked in, the flame was still going. <laughs> it was roaring out of there. That's no good. How, uh, dryer fires are one of the biggest cause of house fires. So you wanna make sure you get that uh, taken care of if you're having something similar to that. Now, there can be a lot of uh, reasons why a dryer uh, can get really hot. You might have a, a clogged uh, lint uh, screen, a uh, clogged hose, exhaust hose, something like that. Um, but that's not gonna uh, cause your flame to remain open and uh, lit. Uh, it should turn off once you turn the machine off. It, you shouldn't have a, an exposed flame. That's what I had. It probably means it's a continuity sensor. And I'm gonna show you how to get to that and how to repair it. As I said, it's quick, it's simple, and doesn't require any special tools really, other than a, uh, a multimeter, so you can check for continuity. So of course with a dryer, there's a thousand uh, screws you have to take off. Actually, there's about uh, 10, I think, nine, nine or 10 and they run around the perimeter here. And you actually have to take off this panel too because that screw holds into here. So all around the perimeter, you have three up each side and then three in this area. These come off. You take your uh, exhaust hose off. I've got my gas line turned off. And of course, remove your plug from the outlet. These are quarter inch hex heads. Once you have your back panel off, this is what you see. And you have a bunch of uh, different switches in here. These are high and low limit switches. You got your thermal fuse down here. Down here, this is the continuity fuse. And that's the one that we want to uh, test out. It's very simple to remove. You got one screw holding it in and there's four wires going into it. Taking out that screw. And then disconnecting the wires. Now you can't hook this up, <laughs> re-hook it up, wrong. The uh, spade bits or the spade uh, connectors on the two outside are much larger than the ones on the inside. And this is the uh, switch which we're going to test. And I'm not sure if you can see in here. It's got some numbers. It's got the model number on it, 338-7134. And then it says 155 to 25 F Fahrenheit. So that just tells you that it's 155 degrees Fahrenheit is when it uh, trips the uh, uh, the switch that's inside there. I think it's within 25 degrees or maybe 25 percent. I'm not quite sure one of the two of uh, the 155. So we're going to test that out, see if the uh, switch inside is fried. And that's why our uh, uh, dryer isn't basically turning off. A lot of times that's the reason why. So the test for continuity, it's uh, very simple. Get yourself a multimeter, basically any kind and you want to put it onto the continuity uh, tester. If you got uh, a sound uh, version like this one, that's easiest because it makes a sound. So you uh, just take it and the, the two probes or the prongs furthest away from each other, this is, uh, I think for a, uh, a, low, uh, a low temp uh, testing, but for the uh, the dryer, you want to test the, uh, to see if there is a continuity, you want to uh, take both of these prongs. So first thing you do is you want to calibrate your multimeter. So you just take the two prongs, 
and you touch them together. And then you want to touch, doesn't matter which side you touch, touch one to one side. So you got sound, that means uh, you got continuity. The thing is, is that inside here is a switch and it's supposed to turn off when the temperature gets to a certain temperature. So that means within, uh, it'll, it should switch off of uh, 155 degrees Fahrenheit. When you touch the uh, prongs, there will be no sound. Now, there's a couple of ways you can uh, test for that, obviously. <laughs> Just here, you can't do anything with it. Uh, you can take a hair dryer and heat it up until it gets to 155 degrees, that should trigger the switch. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna throw it in a frying pan. That'll heat it up. I'll uh, run the continuity test again, and uh, we'll see if there's still uh, continuity. If the buzzer rings, that means the switch is uh, broken. So as we saw, the new fuse uh, tripped when the temperature got up to 155. So now I'm just gonna hook it up. The purple wires are gonna go on these two uh, small poles and the two red wires are gonna go on the outer poles. So again, this one can only go on this one because it's the large uh, uh, male end. This is the large male end, so go on here. And then these will only fit on the small, and sorry for my hands, on the small connectors. So it's as simple as that to reattach. And now just have to screw it back in here. And we should be back in business. So it's just a matter of putting it all back together again and firing it up. All right, so let's see what happens. That's good. No sparks. Let's get down here and see the flame. By the way, the, you can see the hot in there. flames kicked on. Now that flame wasn't turning off before. It was staying hot. So I'm gonna open up the door, turn it off, and let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, let's see. Hell's my lens. Okay, yeah, see, so turns off. That wasn't turning off before. And the drum, as I had said, was super hot. It was scorching hot. It actually burned my hand turning the drum after I lifted up the lid. So that was the problem. And it's a very easy fix and very cheap. I got four uh, fuses and switches for 10 bucks off of Amazon. I'll have the link down below. And uh, you can uh, get it done too. No need to have a uh, expensive uh, handyman come out and repair that for you. Okay, thanks for watching.